Hey, Chris Shoup here with Dominate Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how your dermatology practice can use automated email sequences to nurture your leads and eventually get them to become customers. You know, a lot of people uh, are interested in a product or a service, and then they just get distracted, or they forget, or they don't have the money at the time. And if you keep up with those people, they'll eventually become your customers. But if you only interact with them once and then they forget about you, well, then you just lost a whole bunch of potential sales. Now, first I'm gonna go over the high level strategy about how to do this and how to structure it. And then after that, I'm actually gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna do a screen share with you and set up an automated email sequence so that you can follow me. Now, this video is a continuation of the last video I did, which you can find here all about how to set up a lead generation funnel to bring leads into your business. So this is kind of the second part. Once you get the leads, how to nurture those leads and turn them into customers. So if you haven't watched that first part, I recommend that you pause this video and go watch that now. This will give you the whole strategy and it'll make the rest of this video make a whole lot more sense. Now you may remember I told you in the last video that the average person needs seven touch points before they will buy a product or service. So that means if you show the customer your service one time, most of the time they're not going to buy. Usually they need to be nurtured. They need to hear about it more times before they're willing to buy. Now email is probably the greatest way to do that because once you get somebody's email address, you can advertise to that person for free forever, basically, or until they unsubscribe. And assuming that you did a good job of building your lead funnel, like I walked you through in the last video, you should be getting high quality leads that are already interested in what you have to offer. And not only are you getting free advertising to your new leads, but you also get free advertising to your existing customers. And if you're doing beauty treatments, if you're doing Botox or you're doing fillers or something like that, you know that a customer that comes in once is going to want more treatments in the future. Right, so if you have an automated email system set up, it's a great way to get your customers to keep on coming back and coming back and coming back. So you can see there is massive benefit in what I'm about to show you. Okay, now real quick, let's review the funnel structure that I talked about in the last video. It's real simple. You start with some traffic. So this is wherever people find you. You could advertise for it. You know, you could be getting people from Google. Uh, you could be getting people in person. There's a million different places to get that. You know, that's something I'll probably go over later. So of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get all the new stuff that's coming out. So anyway, so you get the traffic. The traffic clicks on your ad or they click on your link in Google or whatever it is. And then they go to a first page of your funnel, which is called an opt-in page. On the opt-in page, you offer them something for free in return for their name and email address so that you can email them in the future. And then after the opt-in page, you send them to a thank you page. And you could deliver your free thing on the thank you page, but I recommend doing it in the email. And that's what we're gonna get to now. So on the opt-in page, you got their name and email address. So let's go down here to what's going to be our email sequence. And this will be email number one. So the first email that you have to send them is of course the lead magnet, right? That's the thing that you offered them for free. And then of course, if you want to, you can include a CTA there. And your CTA, as you might recall, is going to be inviting them to the next step in the process. So that might be inviting them to come to your office. It might be inviting them to call you. You know, it just depends on your, how your sales process is laid out. But it's something, generally speaking, it's something that for free, that's going to invite them in, in this step, it's gonna invite them to buy your product, to pay for your service. So that's email number one. And then um, once we have their email address, we can just keep on email, emailing them forever, basically, or until they unsubscribe. So let's do another email. Now I would separate these by a day, or you could do two days or three days. So email number two is going to be um, some content, you know, something that gets them to open it and gets them interested. And then at the end, a call to action. I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna write some emails for you so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. But for now, I'm just laying out the high level strategy. And then, you know, we do it again. 
And then let's say we do the same thing. We just kind of take a little bit of a different track and we end with a call to action. So that's it. Uh, that's the whole funnel. It's pretty simple. And then of course you can keep on sending emails uh, forever after that, basically. And then of course there's a whole bunch of different strategies that you can use with your, what's called an email nurture sequence. I mean, as to like send a content email and then send an email with a call to action and then send an email with a link to a video, right? And there's all these different sequences and then you can have like tutorials over, over a sequence of emails. There's all sorts of different strategies. I'm not gonna get into that because this would make this video super long, but again, um, I'm gonna have a lot of this kind of stuff in the future, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. Okay, I'll switch the screen share here. Now, what you see in front of you is an email automation software. It's called Aweber, and I'll put a link in the description. You can take a look at that. I'll put a link where you get a 30-day free trial so you can give that a try. Now, there's a whole bunch of different uh, email softwares like this. And this is the only one that I've ever used because it's the one that I started using and it did absolutely everything that I wanted it to do. So I really had no, no reason to ever want to switch. So, you know, you can check out all the options if you want, but if you want a free trial of Aweber, check out the link in the description. So what this software does is it lets you keep a list of all the people who have subscribed, all of your leads, and it lets you send messages to them automatically. So instead of having to send a message out manually from Gmail or whatever it is, uh, you can write a message and then have it send right after the person opts in. And then you can write another message and have that send to everyone one day after they opt in. And then write another message and have them s have that one send automatically a week after, it, after they opt in. So uh, you can just write it once and then forget about it and it sends to everybody. So super convenient and really helpful for creating a lead sequence which is what I'm gonna show you how to do. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to create a list. So if you go over to, what is it? Manage lists here. Go to create a list. And a list is just uh, a list of people who have opted into something. Okay, now we wanna set up our list. It asks us a few things that we can set up pretty quick. Let's say our company name is ABC Dermatology company website. Uh, they ask for your address, like your physical address. It's some like anti-spam regulation in the US. I think that's why. And then your sender name and your email address, right? Because they're going to take over your email address and send from there. And you can find the directions about how to set up your email address. I've already done that, so I'm not going to show you here. So and then you go to next step and then you name your list. Now I like to name the list after the lead magnet that got them into the list, right? So we talked about in the last video, we said uh, we we're gonna have a lead magnet called Dermatologist Secrets, five steps to younger looking skin, or something like that, right? So let's call our list Dermatologist Secrets. And then we have to describe the emails your subscribers are gonna receive, just some basic description. Uh, let's say tips and tricks to get younger looking skin fast. Like, don't really have to put a lot of thought into that. Next step, confirmation message. I like to turn the confirmation me confirmation message off. What that means is that when somebody signs up, uh, Aweber will send them an email saying, hey, did you mean to sign up for this? And then if they say yes, then they start getting your emails. I like to turn that off because they already signed up. I mean, there's no point in having another step, right, that they might ignore. So. Um, for now, you have to leave it on. So just hit approve message and create list. And I'll show you in a second how to turn that confirmation message off. Okay, so now we have our list. See up here, it's Dermatologist Secrets. And then we can go to list options, list settings, and uh, where is it? Confirmation message. And send confirmation message for Aweber signup forms. Turn this off. Save settings. Okay, and then uh, one more little housekeeping thing we have to do is create a sign up form. This is super easy. You just hit create a sign up form, and then it gives you a really generic form with name and email. We're not going to actually use their form, we're going to do an integration to use the ClickFunnels form instead. 
you know, if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what it is. It really doesn't require any technical skill at all. So just go to save your form, and then you're done with that part. Now we gotta go over to click funnels, where we have the funnel that we created yesterday. And this is exactly the same thing I created yesterday, so we'll just take it from there and go into your lead magnet page, go into edit page, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect ClickFunnels, the opt-in form on ClickFunnels, to the email list in Aweber. So all we're gonna do is go into settings, integration, and then uh, you have to set up the integration in ClickFunnels. I've already done that. Again, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do that. You can find directions for that, it's pretty easy. Uh, and then once you do it on the opt-in page, you go to integration, select your integration, which is gonna be Aweber, and then under action, integrate existing form, and then list to add, it's going to be, where is it, dermatologist secrets. And then hit save, and then you're done. Everybody who opts in on this page is going to get added to the list on your Aweber. So let's go back to Aweber here, and go to messages and follow-up series. Now the follow-up series, what that means, they, well actually I'll, I'll show you just in general what kind of messages there are. A draft is a, messages, a message that you're working on but it's not, you're not doing anything with yet. A broadcast is a message that you just send to everybody on your list or you can, you know, you can filter your list. I won't go too deep into those details. <clears throat> but you can send it now or you can schedule it for the future. Uh, a split test means you try two different emails and see which one gets the better open rate or the better click rate. Again, advanced stuff, I won't go over here. A campaign is a series of emails that you can put wherever you want. And a follow-up series is what I'm gonna focus on today. The follow-up series means when somebody joins your email list, that is when somebody opts in for your lead magnet, like on the ClickFunnels page, then these are the emails that are going to go to them automatically. So the first email, like we said, is gonna be the email that includes the link to their, uh, the lead magnet that we promised them. So let's go to follow up series. And then we can do drag and drop email builder. There's a couple other options, but this is the one that I always use, so I'll show you this. And so this, this email that I'm gonna create right here is going to be the first email that we send our customers right after they subscribe. So what I like to do is uh, the, the subject line, now, now let me give you a little bit of background here on email. The whole point of an email is to get the person to open and then the person to take whatever action you want them to take. So the first, the first task basically is get them to open the email. So you wanna put something in your subject line that entices the customer to open the email. So for your lead magnet, since they're already expecting it anyway, this is pretty easy. So uh, you can say something like, here it is, uh, dermatology secrets, the five best ways to younger looking skin. Right, you're just giving them what they promised so they know to go look for it. That's what I always do with the first email. Now. Assuming you got their, their name on the opt-in form, then you can actually customize it to the person's name. So see where it says, hi, first name, fix. I'll actually do that over for you um, so I can show you how that works. So let's say, hey, make it a little more conversational here, and then personalize subscriber's info, first name. So whatever the subscriber said was their first name, it'll say, hey, Joe, or hey, Mary, or whatever it is. Uh, it'll look, look a little bit more customized. So then after that, we will say, um, congratulations for signing up for your free copy of Dermatology Secrets. We, we let's say we've been doing, well, let's say we've been uh, we've been doing dermatology for 15 years and we can say with confidence that these are the easiest, most 
effective steps you can take to have younger looking skin fast. Enjoy. Right? It doesn't have to be anything super complicated, but what you're, you're thinking about is once you've got them to open the email, you want them to read the thing, right? Because when they read the thing, it boosts your credibility, it boosts their trust in you, and they get another call to action at the end of the lead magnet. So you want them to open it. So you want to put a little bit of stuff in the actual email to entice them to open it. And then you say, uh, sincerely, Dr. Mary, something like that. And then I like to make the text a little bit bigger just because it makes it a little easier on the eyes. I use 16 font. Oh, and then of course we have to put the link. Now, what we could do is we could put an attachment uh, or we could put the link. So what I usually do is I put a Dropbox link. So go to dropbox.com, drop it there, and then put your, put your Dropbox link. And I won't do that here, you know, for the sake of time, but I'll just put it down there. So, you know, people see that that's a link and they click on it and then they download the thing. Now, um, if you want, you can put a call to action in this email. And again, you know, the average person needs seven touch points in order to buy a product, so it certainly makes sense. So we can say PS, D, uh, let's see, would you be interested in having us analyze your skin and give you a free uh, skin care plan that, that takes into consideration your unique skin type and goals. Let's say skincare goals. And then say, uh, if so, give us our, let's not say if so, let's just say, give us a call, or give me, give me a call today at your phone number. Okay, now there you got a call to action. You've given them the thing that you promised to give them. So I think that is pretty good for the first email. Now, before I go on to the next emails, let me give you just a little bit about how I structure the emails. Now, when whenever you're writing an email, uh, an email is like an ad. You're always trying to sell something. Even if you're not trying to sell something directly, even if you're not trying to get them buy right away, you're always trying to get the customer to take an action. So the action here, of course, is you, you, know, you, you want them to read the thing that they sent you. And if you have, if you have two actions, you, know, you can do that, like call the number, because calling the number is better than reading the thing they sent you. Right, that's a better action. So it's okay to have both, but you have to have this one, right? Because you already promised it. Now, the way that I structure emails is very simple. I structure in three steps. One, get the person's attention. Two, get the person's interest. And three, a call to action. That's it. Everything in the email should be just those three things. So the first part is to get attention. Now, the way you get attention is pretty much always in the headline because people decide whether or not they're going to click on the email based on the headline. I mean, you can think about in your own email inbox, how many emails do you get that you never even bother to click on, right? Because the headline didn't entice you. You're, you have so many emails coming to you all the time that you have to pick and choose which emails you want to open and which emails you don't. So you want to open the ones with the attractive headline. So you need to write an attractive headline if you want people to open your emails. And then so once you've got their attention, once they've opened the email, then you want to get their, um, their interest. You want to get steer their interest into whatever it is that you eventually want them to do. So the way I do it in here is saying, oh, we can help you with the uh, easiest, most effective steps that, that you can possibly take to get your skin looking good fast, right? Make it easy and make it a big promise, right? You make it that the maximize the benefit, minimize the investment. And then at the end, well, this is a call to action, just the, the Dropbox link itself, and then there's another call to action at the end, right? So 
you need to have some interest in between or else people start reading it and they'll get bored or if you make it confusing, right, they get confused and they click off and go read some other email. So you wanna keep their interest and then you wanna have a strong call to action at the end. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and save that, which I can't do because my face is in the way. Go uh, save and exit here. Okay, so this is, oh, it saved as a draft. So the fact that it's a draft means that it's not gonna to send to anyone yet. We have to go into send options and say what we actually wanna do with it. So go into send options and put add to follow up series. Yes, that is correct. And there we go, now we have one message in our follow up series. Now, um, I like to, for the next message, I like to copy to draft the, the last one, just so that we have all the formatting from the last one. We kind of don't have to reinvent the wheel here. So um, now this is the one on the drafts. This is just a copy of the one that we just wrote. And so I'm going to write the second email here in the same kind of format as the first email. So first thing is our headline. So now what we wanna do with the second email is we want to put another call to action. We want to get the person to call us or to come into our clinic and get a personalized assessment. So let's say something like, um, yeah, let's just, let's just be direct for this one. Want a free personalized skincare assessment. Um, I spelled that wrong. Or actually, let's say let's say plan. Plan sounds better than assessment. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So um, again, this is just another touch point. Even though we've already offered that to to them a few times, it's okay to offer them another time. And then we'll be a little more sneaky from here on out. But for this one, we'll just uh, just like state it outright in the title. So let's say. Um, Let's get rid of this text that's already here. Say, I hope you learned. Uh, no, let's say, I hope you found the uh, found dermatologist secrets super helpful and are already noticing a change in your skin. Let's put that 16 point font again. So that 12 point font is just too small in my opinion. And notice that I like to put one sentence per line. It just makes it easier to read. If you think about it, people are just bombarded with emails. People have short attention spans. And the easier you make it to read something, uh, the more likely they are to continue reading. So if you have a big dense paragraph full of big words, like the chances that they're just gonna like look at that and be scared away are pretty high. So I like to make the paragraphs as small as possible and as easy to read as possible. So, okay, so I hope you found Dermatology Secrets super helpful and already noticing a change in your skin. Um, if you want to really shave off the years in the minimum minimum time possible and have radiant glowing skin that let's let's put a benefit here that makes you feel confident and beautiful even when you didn't put on your makeup let's put that in like parentheses here so we can and then let's say we can help you put together a customized skincare plan that is tailor-made 
for your unique skin type. This is the best way to have amazing looking skin. And then say, give us a call today to create your free plan. And then your phone number. Then yeah, you don't know you need the Dropbox link. And then uh, PS. I like to put PSs. Let's say it's nice to have some urgency if you can, right? Say why the person should call you today instead of calling you a week from now. Now I don't like to lie about urgency. A lot of marketers do that. Um, and it probably works sometimes, but sometimes it kind of shoots you in the foot because the customer recognizes that you're lying and it kills the trust. So, um, oh, how about we say there's a special PS. Uh, we're having a special, we're having a special this week only with free, uh, uh, I don't know, let's say, with half price Botox. Schedule now so you don't miss it. Right, if you have a special that's only lasting a certain amount of time, that's something that is pretty believable and it creates a sense of urgency. So I like that. Now again, let's go over the, this is the attention getter. Want a free personalized skincare plan and then you have your what you're building interest and your building interest is all about the benefit to the customer you're convincing them that they would benefit from this because if you're gonna make their life better that's something that they're interested in and then give us a call today create your free plan that's the call to action and then uh, the PS is a good place to reiterate the call to action with something a little different right like a half price Botox Okay, so that's good for email number two. And let's save and exit. And then we have to add to follow up series. Now, this time we get to decide how long after the first uh, email we want to follow up. So we can put one day, two day, three days, whatever we want. I'm going to leave it at one day for now. I think one day is good because it's still fresh in their mind. So. Let's add to follow up series. Okay, now we got two emails in our follow up series. And let's do just one more. And we'll copy this one to drafts, like we did last time. Go to our drafts, and then let's change this. Okay, now the, the last, this want a free personalized skincare plan, that headline was pretty direct. And so this one, let's do something. A little bit more sneaky now there's there's two great ways to get people to open an email either you do something that builds a lot of curiosity or you do something that promises some big benefit so a big um, a big curiosity would be like I can't believe she said this right which is kind of becoming overplayed in my opinion. I've seen too much of it and it's not working so well anymore. Like it used to work really well because people used to see that and like, oh, well, what did she say, right? And then they would open the email. So I kind of don't do that as much, but you can experiment with it again because it depends on what, you know, what your, your customers are used to. If they're seeing this all the time, they're probably not gonna click on it. You know, it depends on how skeptical they are. So you can do that if you want. I'm not gonna go with that. I'm instead, I'm gonna say, uh, we can get, we can, uh, let's say reduce your wrinkles by 50% in just one day. 
right? That sounds pretty good. That's like a benefit-based headline. They say, oh, well, I have wrinkles and I would love to be able to reduce them. And if I could do that fast, then even better. So that's something that people will click on. And then let's see. Um, now, something that, that dermatologists, in my opinion, do not do very well in general is they just kind of assume that everybody knows what they have to offer, right? They go to these conferences that say all these fancy new things and they buy this like $10,000 machine um, that can do some new treatment and they think everybody just knows about it. They think they just list it on an ad uh, and everybody will know what it is. So I would say assume that your customer doesn't really know very much and explain it to them. Explain all the amazing things that you can do, right? That's why you got into this because of these incredible, like magical things that you can do with people's appearance. So if you say, I can reduce your wrinkles by 50% in just one day, say, did you, um, let's just say, have you ever heard of a uh, groundbreaking, oh no, that sounds weird. Let's say Yeah, let's say have you heard of a ground breaking new technique called red yes? I might be getting the procedure a little bit mixed up here, but you know, you get the idea here. Uh, have you ever heard of a ground breaking new technique called red yes? with one simple painless procedure we can give you younger uh, tighter fuller looking skin and the best part is it uh, your skin looks great without having to uh, redo the procedure for a full three months. Now again, you know, say what's honest here, I don't really know the exact specifications of all these things, so you'll have to write those in. But um, you're, you're saying, did you know that there's this procedure that can give you this amazing benefit? And then we can say for a limited time we are offering radius fillers for uh, 25 percent off or instead of for limited time let's say let's say this week this this week only uh, we are offering radius fillers for 25 percent off Give us a call and we'll schedule a free consultation where we'll take a look at exactly at you say your exact skin type and um, give you a free plan that will get you looking your best within weeks. Nah, call us today and phone number. And then if you want a PS, uh, I don't like to have a PS all the time, so let's just get rid of the PS on this one. Okay, so let's analyze this real quick, make sure it's good. Now, whenever I'm writing emails or writing, it's copy, it's called, whenever you're writing in a way that's supposed to convince somebody, I like to write out something quick and then go back later and kind of uh, modify it a little bit. So, because usually, you know, I make a couple mistakes the first time. So this is like the rough draft. Anyway, so uh, we have reduce your wrinkles by 50% in just one day. I think that's a pretty good attention getter. Now talking about this new technique that can make the person's life better. That's a good way to keep interest. And then, hey, by the way, we can give you a consultation and it's free. It's zero investment. You don't have to worry about anything. Like, uh, we, it's just to see what we can do for you. I mean, it's, it's really low investment. So um, it's 
pretty good call to action, I think. And then let's go ahead and add to our uh, follow-up series here. And then let's put, put one day after previous again. Awesome, so now we have our three email follow-up series. And you can just keep on adding emails like forever, as much as you want. And again, these are the people that already know who you are. They're already interest, interested in what you have to offer. So keep sending them emails. I mean, it's like the best advertising you can get and it's completely free. And then, of course, if you want to send like blast emails, so say you have a special sale, like you have a Valentine's Day sale, you can go into messages, broadcasts, and create a new message and send out a message just for Valentine's Day saying, hey, we're having two for one on whatever it is, and get a whole bunch of people that way whenever you want. So I hope you can see how amazing this is, like how enormous of a boost this is going to give your marketing. And again, there are very few dermatology practices that are doing this kind of stuff. This is kind of like niche secret knowledge that, that hardcore digital marketers have, but it's just not really filtered out into industry very much. So the, the uh, practices that are gonna be implementing this first are gonna have such an enormous advantage over everybody else. So if you want a customized marketing plan, if you want me to look at your business and tell you how to do modern marketing in such a way that you're gonna get more leads, you're gonna convert more of those leads, you're gonna get those the per people that buy to come back more often. It's going to compound your revenue on uh, four different fronts all at the same time. If you would like me to show you how to do that completely for free, then click the link below in the description or go to dominatethemarketplace.net slash ss and we'll have a free call and I'll tell you exactly how to do that. And even if you don't decide to work with me, I still recommend that you implement everything that I told you in this video here because even if you can only do it at 50%, right? Even if you're not good at this, if you're not good at writing copy, right? If you just don't know how to do an equals email sequence very well, just the fact that you have it is gonna put you head and shoulders over everybody that doesn't have it. Even if you can only do it at 50%, that's a whole lot better than zero. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would share it with other dermatologists that you may know, maybe some classmates, maybe some groups of dermatologists on Facebook or on WhatsApp. That'd be a big help for me and it'd be a big help for them as well. And I think you might also find this video very helpful. And of course, don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it makes YouTube algorithm like me better. Hit the subscribe and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all of my future videos.